Hey yo, this is Dash, and I am back out at Charlotte, my Weber kettle. And as you can probably tell by the title, today I'm doing brisket. Again. Hey yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so this morning I talked to Marcus from Crimson Creek Smokehouse down there in Dripping Springs, Texas, and today is actually October 10th, 2020, and today is his grand opening. So I know this video won't go up for a few weeks, but he texted me this morning, he's like, hey man, what's up? We got to talking, and I sent him a picture of the brisket that I'm cooking. And he says, hey, are you videotaping this? Dog, it's just film. It's just film. And his reply, because he knew that I was thinking, it's just film. His reply was, yes, I said videotape. All right, but today I'm doing this brisket. This brisket is actually for a long-term customer of mine. He hit me up yesterday and he called me, and the number he called me from, whatever construction is going on, sorry. The number he called me from, I didn't have it saved. So he texted me. So I was driving and I called him right back and I'm like, hey, um, hi, uh, this is, you know, still doing smokers barbecue. I, I just, you know, wanted to call you back. I said, I'm actually uh, driving and can't text you. He's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. He's like, um, I, I need to put in a brisket. Uh, I need to put in an order for some brisket. And I'm like, okay, sure, no problem. Well, when did you need it and how much did you want? He's like, um, can I get uh, three pounds of brisket and, and, you know, as soon as possible or whenever you can? I said, well, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. I said, I can have it for you tomorrow afternoon. He said, oh, okay, he's like, oh, cool, that's, that's great. All right. So in my mind, I'm like, well, who is this guy? I don't even know who this person is. So I said, well, I said, where do you live? So I can, um, you know, bring it to you. He said, oh, he said, you've been in my house plenty of times. I have? Well, unfortunately, sir, I don't have this number saved and I don't know who you are. So could you, could you tell me who this is? And he's like, no, I'm not telling you who this is. You know, he started pulling my chain, right? So I'm like, okay, well, <clears throat> unless I know who this is, I can't necessarily give you any brisket. He's like, oh, so he tells me who it is. I said, you mother <laughs> He had me going for quite a while. I'm like, man, who is this? I don't know who this person is. And he telling me I didn't deliver food to him a bunch of times. I'm like, I don't know who this is. Yo, I'm, I, I have some of the best customers. They, you guys uh, included, seriously, uh, um, it, it's, just, it's just hilarious. I really wanna thank you guys who watch these videos. I really wanna thank you guys who, who purchase food for me. All of those things I, I just I just wanted to say. So I'm gonna take this opportunity while I'm standing over here at Charlotte. I didn't get any video of me doing the prep work and I didn't get any video of me starting the, the smoker because you guys have seen that already. Flashback. end of flashback so actually if you want to i did an in-depth video on cooking brisket i'll put it right 
right right there anyway i just wanted to come and talk to you guys for a quick minute and i guess probably throughout this cook when i come out to the smoker i'll i'll talk to you and i'll show you some you know some footage of the of the brisket i know you guys like that all right so i'm back out at charlotte and then if you can hear me i have tracy getting started over there and there's the brisket that looks pretty good so the brisket has been on and i'm i actually i don't even know how long it's been on i wasn't really checking for time uh it has hit an internal temperature of 150 degrees and i'm getting ready to get it into a foil pan and then on tracy because my wife and I have some errands we need to run. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, put it in the pan. Ooh, boy, look at that. This, this brisket, the, the color is spot on. Man, oh man, that looks good. Just looks like a perfectly done, now, my my bark is set nice and hard or the there's a little bit of moisture right there in the middle but i'm not worried about that everything else looks fine and i am going to wrap this up and like i said get it on the trigger and again the reason i'm doing that is because my wife and i are going to the market and i kind of just wanted to cook while i am at the market no sense in me sitting here babysitting it when I can multitask and do something else, especially with using a trigger and the fact that the temperature control is so reliable. This was done on the Weber kettle. All right, there you have it. Well, bottom, baby. <laughs> hey, look, guys, down below is listed the P.O. Box. If you want to send us something to try, a sauce, a seasoning, some jerky, feel free, something funny, something for us to try, send it to the P.O. Box below. It's always listed in the description. But thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Join us on Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Easter we go live for two hours. In the first hour, we talk about barbecue or something barbecue business related. The second hour, come as you please and bring your flesh. And we talk about anything. And then we talk about anything. All right. Well, not her, but me. So. Sometimes you, I peek. peek yes, you do. So you want to tell them thank thank them again for watching. Thank you again for watching. And we'll see you. Oh, I'm sorry. And please do subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you Bye. guys. Bye.